Hey everyone, Steve O uh, from the Endless Sphere Forums. Uh, I thought today I might share another quick video um, on my uh, power supplies that I'm using for uh, to charge my Honda Inside battery pack, which consists of uh, 50S 2P A123 uh, pouch 20 amp hour cells, so it's about 40 amp hour. Uh, this is my car charger right now, so I've been using. Uh, it's made up of four Conador power supplies. Just like the uh, ones that I'm selling in my uh, sale bonanza <laughs> thread on the other sphere. So these are that. These are them. Medical grade power supplies. They're rated at about 250 watts, 48 volt. Um, I believe they do produce a bit more. And I'm going to show you a quick demo of that. So I, I believe, well, their output's rated for 40 volts, 5.3 amp. Uh, so anyways, I'll show you what they can do. So this is my setup. So we have, here's our neg most negative power supply. Just ignore that wire there. Uh, most negative power supply. Uh, so it goes in series all the way to there. I do have a contactor here, uh, which is powered by the 12 volt power supply back there and these two little fans so basically when I use a timer on my car right now to charge my battery I currently don't have a BMS installed yet I am working on that but uh, I have this set to charge the cells to about 3.5 volt a cell which uh, has worked relatively well everything stays within balance pretty much um, so basically the idea is I put the, the timer on the wall timer on I should say so I set it and what happens is it activates uh, the 12 volt supply will activate the contactor as these power supplies are basically turning on and charging up so it all happens within a couple of seconds I would say I think these do get some juice before that actually kicks in just because the caps fill up and uh, it's worked relatively well um, so this works as you know for example when the cars turn when we start the charge this will connect the power supplies in uh, you know in parallel with the pack I should say or to charge the pack basically and then when the charge is done when the timer shuts off uh, it shuts off the contactor therefore disconnecting the power supplies and not drawing any energy back into the supplies which will obviously pull it out of the pack so it works relatively well I don't, I'm not using any diodes um, now I did read up when I was uh, I did read up on Fetcher's uh, thread for the mini limiter boards because you do require to have two of them on here and uh, he says, you know, for four power supplies, you need two of them. I did have four at one point because I didn't know any better how to hook these up, but now I have two and they work perfectly. Um, but he says you have to have them a diode in between this, uh, the supplies. Uh, I would check out, if I were you, I'd check out the mini, mini limiter board thread, and he does explain that. However, I'm not using them, and uh, I'm, they work fine. So I'm going to show you a quick demo. So in this case, I, I've because I run these in my car, and the temperature varies a lot outside, like if you're talking like right now it can be zero degrees. In the summertime it can range as high as 40 degrees in my car. So I, I do need these cooling fans because the supplies are in strange environments. I mean right now I could probably turn them off, but I just leave them on anyways. Uh, so I'm going to show you. So here's my little uh, battery pack that I've uh, put together with some random chemistry. Don't use that on your e-bike. Not good. So I have my amp clamp on. Uh, let me just make sure that that thing doesn't shut off. So we're going to connect my power. I'm just going to do this with two hands so I don't electrocute myself. All right. I got a 12 volt lead right here. So this is if I want to. Actually, I had some LED lights that I was powering with this 12 volts to uh, make my car look pretty cool at night when it's charging. So uh, we're going to connect the positive, negative. There you go. So they're on. This pack is about 140-ish some odd volts, 145-ish. So these supplies are set at 174. So right now they're pulling a steady 5 amps. That's through the amp clamp as you see. So, uh, I mean, you can do the calculation, but 5 amps at about 174 volts I mean often on the on the charge I see these supplies pull about one kilowatt 
which is perfect for a nice high voltage setup. Uh, I, I, they do range a little higher. I've seen them go as high as 1200 watts. It depends a lot on the battery temperature is what I find. If, if the temperature is very cold outside and the cells are cold, uh, you might notice the, the supplies will work a bit harder. But right now they're not too bad. These cells are at room temperature and I'm hovering about you know, just over 5 amps. I say between 5.5 amps, 4.5 amps, that's pretty much their uh, happy range. And uh, yeah, they're working well. So uh, if you guys are interested in buying them, you know, definitely I got a, a link on the Endless Fear for Sale thread. Check it out. I'm going to be posting this video there as well. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching. Have a good one.